Hi, hello, YouTube land. Check your clocks, it's amateur hour time. Welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Explorers of Sky. In the last episode, um, we were trying to get a water flow back to the, the Mouse Bros, Azrael and Meru, and we, we kind of stepped into a trap set up by Skuntank and his crew, which it was in the, the Amp Plains, I think, where a whole bunch of Electrite and one Manetric like, kind of like ganged up on us, basically. So it was just like a lot of Electric types against a lot of like Water types. We sort of had the disadvantage, but I think we, we, we were lucky enough to survive through it. And we also got one awesome ally, Dust Noir. I think he's pretty legit because he knows a lot of stuff. But in our myth, of, unfortunately, he doesn't know about my past. So... I think that's why he's tagging along, so he can understand more. And I have this ability called the Dimensional Scream, which I guess, we're, as I hope is going to be later explained. But in this chapter, it's called Grovile the Thief, so I guess we're going to learn about Grovile here and why he's taking the time gears or something. But we'll see, so let's go ahead and jump right into it, have some fun. You know what to do, guys. Leave a like for Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, leave a like for our new ally, Dust Noir, and of course, Team Skull, because I think they're kind of cool, honestly, being the, the antagonist group, and it's great. And we got Beedoof here. He's all out of breath. Apparently something happened at the guild, so that's why we have to hurry, uh, hurry back. So here we go. <sighs> Come on. Hurry. What happened? Everyone's here. Yup, yup. Sorry, everyone. We just got told that the call went out, so we came running. What's going on? Another time gear was stolen. What? Not another one? From where now? Where was this time gear stolen from? Well, it... Uh, what's the problem? Did it happen somewhere you don't want to talk about? Wait, it wasn't the one from... Yes, it was. This time, the time gear was Fogbound Lake was stolen. Huh? But how? Time gear that was at Fogbound Lake. Only we knew about that, right? So how could this happen? It couldn't be. That a member of the guild taught, could it? What? That was on call for. Hey, hey, hey. Don't trust your fellow members. Ugh. Sorry, that was uncalled for. You're right. No one would break our vow of, of secrecy. It just never happened. I should have thought before I spoke. I'm sorry. Well, it's no wonder that you leaped to that conclusion. I mean, this horrible thing did happen right after our expedition. Just one moment. I'm afraid I don't quite understand. There was a time gear at Fogbound Lake. I did not know that. But I, did I not hear quite a different tale about your recent expedition? I recall being told that your expedition to Fogbound Lake ended in failure. I apologize, Great Dust Noir. If we we made a promise, so we couldn't tell even you, Dust Noir. Anyway, a lone intruder slipped into Fogbound Lake, knocked out Uxy, and made off with the time gear. Uxy? Is Uxy alright? Yes, Uxy is fine. He's under the protection of Magnezone Squad. No need to worry. <sighs> I'm glad to hear that. Wait, there's more. According to Uxie's victim statement, the intruder's identity has been revealed. Then fess up, what kind of critter we be dealing with? There's already a wanted poster up for that thief. See for yourselves. Grovile. This Pokemon goes by the name of Grovile, which is funny because that's the second evolved form of Trico. <laughs> Ooh, that's one nasty piece of work. Grovile. So this is the Pokemon. The thief who's stealing the time gears. This wanted poster just arrived. It was issued based on Uxie's statement. It arrived as part of an all-points bulletin. All that figures. That's why all those Polypa were flying around. Officer Magnazone obviously doesn't want to see things worsen. They put up a remarkably high bounty on the thieving Grovile. We promised Uxie. We promised not to reveal the secret of Fogbound Lake. But then this happens. We didn't leak the secret, but... I'm ashamed to show my face in front of Uxie now. Hey, hey! Here's what sticks in my craw. The view there has been ruined. And hey, hey! I just can't forgive that. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, Guildmaster! <laughs> Guildmaster! <laughs> you talk! Whoa. Everyone, we'll catch Grovile. We'll catch that thief. I vow it upon the name of Wiggly Tuff's Guild. Shut off if you will. Yes. Okay, everyone. From here on out, we are putting our full focus on capturing Grovile. Do your best to bring Grovile to justice. It goes without saying. Hey, hey, hey. There's no way we can let any more time gears be stolen. Come on, everyone. Let's pull together. Let's do it for Uxie. Wiggly Tough. I believe I understand the situation now. I will join you in your guild's pursuit of Grovile. Thank you, Great Dust Noir. Dolly, having the Great Dust Noir in our corner is mighty heartening. Hey, hey, we're on it. No, no, it's my honor entirely. At present, the guild master and I shall confer. We will devise a strategy for finding Grovile. In the meantime, you should all start preparing to go on searches. Return here when you're ready to leave. Okay, everyone, let's outdo ourselves. Hooray! Okay. Let's go catch ourselves a thief. I'm ready. Let's hurry and get ready, amateur. Let's start preparing with a visit to Treasure Town. Okay. Okay. First off, let's, uh, store the money. Actually, before we store, let me check. Just check the shop. May as well. And then, items. We're still pretty good on items. Well, uh, except this. We can get rid of that. Plain seed. Uh, anything else? Apple, warp orb, warp seed, max elixir. Oh, they got a dainty box. I guess I could open that up. Yeah, may as well. Excuse me. God, I love this song already. What? Let's see. What'd I get? I got a Biba card. A Bibrel. Yep, that's not for me. I'll just sell it. <laughs> May as well. Welcome to Kecleon. I want to sell this, please. Yeah, this is pretty good for um, monetary values. Like, I can, I can get the treasure chests, and if they're not specifically for my Pokemon, then I'll just sell them. Okay, what you got? What you got? Apple? Oh my god, three Reviver Seeds? <laughs> okay. Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, let me do some quick math on my calculator here. Um, I gotta find it real quick. Calculator. There you are. Okay, 800 times 3. That's 2,400. Easy. I'm gonna take... Two... Da, 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 da. Nice. I'm I'm taking all those reviver seeds. Are you kidding me? Uh huh. Thank you. All right. And then, what do you got? Uh, faux fear or makes enemies terrified. That that's the one when they run away, right? I think. Sandy causes a sandstorm. What's that? A climate control item that changes the dungeon's floor weather to a sandstorm condition. I don't know what that means. I'll grab one for faux fear or bill may as well, I guess. And then what else do I got in my items? Zinc. Boost special defense. Yeah, I could probably give that to someone. Trash this plane seed. Okay. Anything I can take? I still have a whole bunch of plane seeds, don't know why. I should probably throw a little out, honestly. Store. Let's store. I need some apples, that's what I need. Oh, I have a big apple and an apple. Okay, I got three, two apples, and one big apple. Yeah, we're, we're fine, and I can always just find more in the dungeons. I think we're ready. Let's go. 
Can I take Whoopi and Wagums with me? Is that happening as well? Alright. I, oh, I think I gotta go talk to What's-His-Face, right? Alright. Now, I see everyone's with us. First and foremost, this should go without saying. Grovile appears wherever time gears are located. But where are the time gears? That is the question, but we have no answer. And, therefore, we relied upon the great Dust Noir for ideas. Together, we've identified several locations where the time gears may be found. We ask that everyone split into groups and investigate each of these potential sites. First, Loudrin and Corpish. I'm assigning you to the Eastern Forest. That's the huge forest far to the east, of course. Got it! Aye aye, we'll do our best. Next, Bidoof, Dugdrio, and Sunflora. We'd like you to search the Crystal Cave. Yup, yup, will do. Understood. Oh my gosh, I'll search hard. And finally, Amateur and Duo. You two are assigned to the Northern Desert. The Northern Desert? Correct. Open your Wonder Map. Okay. Do you open the Wonder Map? I feel like if I'm going to a desert, I'm going to encounter ground-type Pokemon. Well, I got water types, so I'm, I think I should be fine. And, like, probably ground and rock. I think those are the two I might encounter. See? This area. The area on the map is obscured by clouds, but the dry terrain starts in this area here. That's why it's rumored that a vast desert extends from that point onward. We suspect that a time gear is hidden in the depths of the desert. That is where we're sending you to investigate. Okay, we understand. Um... What about me? Diglett will remain at the guild. We can't very well leave the guild completely unattended. Krogunk and I are staying behind at the guild, too. The work we do at the guild is important, too. Let's make sure we keep our good work. Yes. Now let's find the time gears, everyone. You paw Hooray! Alright. Let's do it. Can he come with us? The northern desert's not only wide and deep, but it's raked by fists. Vicious sandstorms. Please do take care. We'll do. Thank you. Amateur, let's do our best. Alright, I guess he's not coming with us, but he is good for information, so. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be encountering ground type if I'm heading to a desert, so. Uh. The Northern Desert. It ain't no Gerudo Desert or Dry Dry Desert, but it's a desert nonetheless. Northern Desert is through here. If a time gear really is here, Grovile should show up here for sure. Let's do our best and find that time gear. Alright. The Northern Desert. Hey, peeps! Baltoy. You tried to use rapid spin on your boy. Wait, Baltoys are psychic types, correct? Northern Desert. Alright, oh, there's another one right here. Mind if I do? Yes. Yep, see, there's a ground type. Sand Slash, or Sand Shrew, actually. So this is where the water types come in. Aw, oh, Cubone. That's, uh, that's my friend Robert's favorite Pokemon, actually. Cubone. Poor guy. Oh. God, man. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, I'm gonna wait. Oh. Uh, I'll, I'll wait. There you go. Ow. He just kicked dirt in my eye. Where is Wooper going? Wooper? Wooper. Come back, friend. Oh, God. Well, <laughs> he's on his own, I guess. I can't see. Cringe. Stop cringing, you fool. Alright, I'll just head to the stairs and let him come forth afterwards. Okay. There's someone right behind you. No, oh, sorry. <laughs> Oh, he threw it. Oh, he caught the thorn and he threw it at the enemy. Okay, cool. That's pretty legit. Teamwork, friends. But I really need you guys to do some water moves. That's what I need you to do. Uh, 
Ooh. Grimy food? What's that? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Grimy food. Fills the belly, but... Okay. Info. A food item that somewhat fills the Pokemon's belly, but will also inflict a variety of status problems because it's covered in filthy grime. Be careful of what you eat. Uh, I guess I really don't need it, so... I'll just test subject. <laughs> He's on fire! Oh, I set him on fire! Oh, God. <laughs> he ate it and now he's burning. Holy crap. Hold on, hold on. I'll, I'll heal you, dude. Oh. <laughs> uh, I don't have a Rossberry, huh? I don't think so, unfortunately. Here. <laughs> that was funny. Alright. We got some more company, folks. Larvitar. Are you leering at me right now? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, Baltoids are psychic types. They're scary. There we go. Eesh. All right then. Back to normal speed. <laughs> Wooper is not on fire. Oh my god, another grimy food. I should eat it. I'm gonna eat it this time. I don't want to put my teammates in danger. I'm pretty sure I'm the one with the lowest health anyway, so... Let's eat it. Poison. <laughs> I can expect that, honestly. Okay. Uh, all the weather became a sandstorm. All Pokemon except ground, rock, and steel will be what? Uh, let's see. Others? No. Ground. There's nothing at my feet. I don't know. How do I check the dungeon thing? I'm sure it'll come back up, actually. So. Oh! They're oh, they're taking damage! Oh, because of the, su the sandstorm! No! Yikes, okay, I better find this stuff quick then. Oh my god, I'm already heading to a bad... I'm the, uh, the one that's getting hurt. Oh no, I am getting hurt, okay. I need to check. Message log, there we go. So it's hurting everyone but Wooper. Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. The weather has become a sandstorm. All Pokemon except for ground, rock, and steel will receive damage. So what's Wooper? He's water. <laughs> I'm gonna look this up. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Like, like I said, Pokemon knowledge sucks. Okay, so... Wooper. Wooper the Pokemon. Uh... Got one. He's a water ground. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Yeah, okay, so he's not gonna get hurt anytime soon. But I may have to hurry. Don't do it. Oh my. Ah, whooper, he died. <laughs> Alright. Endure encounter just in case he wants to throw some psychic stuff at me. Actually, that's pretty good. So, Wagums. Oh, you can learn a new move? What you got? Rain Dance. Let's see. Changes the floor's weather to a rain condition. That actually might help from the sandstorm stuff, so... Yeah, I'm gonna switch that. Uh, but to what, though? I'll probably switch out your water gun. Because for Bubble, it's like, it's a good distance one as well. May as well. If I regret it, then I'll regret it. So now I want you to change the can can I do that actually? Team. Wagum. Whoopee. No no. Wagums. Moves. Oh. Well, I'm sure you'll do it if you're dying, so. You better. There it is! So now it should be rainy. Yep. 
The power of water type moves is boosted and fire is weakened. Cool. Thank you, Waggles. <laughs> That's what we need, baby. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I got that, actually. Probably should switch my... Uh, yeah, I'm already out of... Ooh, Dark... Yeah, you are a psychic. My bite is perfect for this. Alright. But I am going to need a max elixir, so... Delicious. And nutritious. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, it missed. Heads up. Oh god, you're dying. You can stop... Self-destruct. The damp conditions prevented an explosion. Oh, cool. <laughs> I like that. You can stop the rain dancing now. <laughs> yeah, you can't explode because it's raining. That's awesome. I like this. Oh my god, you are literally wasting Rain Dance. We're gonna need that, you fool. Who is that over there? Oh, it's Larvitar. <laughs> You're not even using your water type move anyway. Sandshrew. I need some health again, because why the heck not? Uh, warp Seed. Very. Numb. Alright, fully heal again. Friggin' Whooper. I need you to use water moves, friend. Okay. Well, I got two. Plain Seed. Yeah! <laughs> I don't need it. Hello? That? Who is that? Carnivine. Okay. That's a grass type, I know. So, probably keep the, the water boys away. The blowback orb. Alright. Bye-bye. Right oh, Rhyhorn. I think Rhyhorns are rock types, no? Dang it. Alright. Level 18. This is gonna be the best team ever. We're gonna be legends. Northern Desert. Okay. We only had to deal with one, um, sandstorm, so that's good. There you go. Missiles, you can do multiple shots. Yay! Now I'm getting a lot of experience from that, from these enemies. It's awesome. Oh yeah, I'm defense is lowered, huh? I just now realized. Good job. Yes, another level up. God, if we can learn like another move, that'll be great. Just gotta 
keep leveling up, I guess. Oh, yeah. Okay. Tenth floor of the northern desert. Oh, here comes the sandstorm again. Alright, so if you didn't waste all your things like an idiot... <laughs> can I, like, check your IQ? Oh, yeah, I should probably do that, huh? Exclusive move user. Uh... Moves. Slam. Wait, no, that's Wagums. Yeah, I'm checking Wagums. He's all out of rain dance. Oh my god, because he wants to like use it like so many different times. Like, idiot. <laughs> okay. Um I believe I don't have any more max elixirs, unfortunately. I know I should have carried something. Maybe I'll find one on the floor somewhere. Oh boy. See, now when the sandstorms hit, that's when <laughs> he runs out of freaking rain dance. Oh, that's a grimy food. We don't need that. Level up, does your stuff refill? I wonder. No, it doesn't. Alright, okay, so now we know we gotta get some more max elixirs. That's just something I gotta find. Hopefully, Kecleon's in this area somewhere. Growth. Okay, special attack rose. Feel like that? Yay! And now Duo can learn a new move. Screech. Let's see. Greatly reduces the target's defense. Oh, that's perfect, because I'll, I'll get rid of Leer, honestly. But the Link moves forgotten. Wait! What? You mean to tell me I'm gonna lose Absorb if I get rid of Leer? Hold on. Hold on, I gotta. Science. This is for science. Oh, oh I can delink it. Okay. <laughs> I'm about to say. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's get rid of it. Because I have Screech now. Alright, so now. Uh, team, duo, moves. Okay, I'm pr pretty sure I'm going to have to go back to Electric Fire, man, dude. <laughs> and link that back up again. I don't think it's really wise to bite a steel type, honestly speaking, but whatever. help like that. I am lost. Getting hungry. Alright. I can eat an apple right here. Delicious.
Oh, we're getting surrounded. How about this? Uh, get out of here. <laughs> Perfect. Ah! There you go. Oh my god. Leave us alone. Perfect! Thank you, Wagums. That doesn't mean you keep using it. I don't know why you do this. Oh my god. There's gotta be a way to stop him from doing that. He needs to eat more gummies, honestly. Stop. You're just wasting your moves. Oh. God. Okay, you know what? I need to do I have to do this. Wagums. Uh IQ. Stop. <laughs> Please. You're wasting them. Alright, we'll be got another level up. Mud bomb. What's this? Inflicts damage on the target. It may also reduce the target's accuracy by one. Okay, so what's much shot then? Same thing, but which one's more powerful? This one is. Okay. Uh, forget much shot. You'd have mud bomb now. You have evolved. All right. Good. Yeah. Nice. Okay, back to the Northern Desert Friends. There's a Sand Slash right behind you. Honestly, you should use your water stuff. Dang it, Whoopi. <laughs> You're costing me my seeds, man. The move Rain Dance can't be used. I wonder why. Good job. Okay, we gotta get out of here. He's following us. Stop trying to use Rain Dance, for God's sake. You can't do it no more. Leech seed? No. Okay. We are all running out of our moves, by the way. Ah, we made it. Is this the deepest part of the desert? Watch out! It's quicksand! Sand's getting sucked down here and there. They're like sand whirlpools. We'll be pulled in if we get close. It's dangerous here. I don't see anything around here that remotely looks like a time gear. Maybe there's something here. Oh. What's the matter, amateur? This feeling. It's like the one I got at Fogbound Lake. I... I know this place. Maybe I've only heard of this place. Seems like I've only been here before. I can't tell which. Either way, I do know this place. Listen, amateur. What's the matter? You were offering your own thoughts there. Well, there seems to be nothing here. How disappointing. Let's report our findings to the guild. Let's go home. She has to push me? What the heck? Okay. The clouds parted over the northern desert. Yay. What? So everyone's back from their searches, but nobody found anything? Disappointing. That's what happened, all right. Hey, hey, we went out to the eastern forest just like we were told. But hey, there's nothing really there in the forest. And as for Crystal Cave, yup, yup, it was chock full of crystals. Mighty pretty cave, I tell ya. It was so pretty that I just couldn't help. Helping myself to a crystal. Oh, when did you pick that up? I was with you the whole time. I never noticed. Be doof. Our objective was to find a time gear. We all failed to achieve our objective. But you had the nerve to collect a souvenir totally unrelated to the mission. Who do you think you are? Ooh, gosh, I'm sorry. I just wanted a tiny treasure for myself, that's all. Just no matter, sir. I regret to say it. Our search efforts ended fruitlessly. Uh, this is vexing. I thought the search location we chose held promise. 
I blame my lack of knowledge. I am truly chess. My goodness, no! You mustn't blame yourself. Why, it was thanks to only our vast knowledge that we came up with our plan, Dust Noir. Nonetheless, our efforts have ended in failure. That's a fact. We're beating hard on ourselves is pointless. Let us reconsider our plan. We'll devise a different strategy tomorrow. Yes, let's do that. And may we find success together. That's how it stands, everyone. That's enough work for today. Rest up, prepare for tomorrow. Understood. Alright. Food break. What about, the, what about Dust Noir? He's not going to eat with us? <laughs> do ghost type even eat? We should get some sleep, too. Night-night. The next morning. Basic schedule. Alright, so I already know that we gotta get ourselves some Max Elixirs. So, better have, head on over. Ahem! And that brings us back to today. Pres presently, the great Dust Noir and I are working out a new strategy. While we develop this strategy, we ask you to search for the time gears on your own initiative. That is all. Alright everyone, work hard again today. Hooray! Work find the time gears on our own. We're supposed to search on our own today, amateur. Where should we go? Hmm. I wonder. We can search all we want, but we don't have a clue. Oh! Wait a second! Yesterday we were out there. This feeling. It's like the one I got at Fogbound Lake. I... I know this place! Yes! That's right! Yesterday at the quicksand pits, we assumed that it was a dead end for our search. But maybe there really are secrets there. What's the matter? Are you off in another daydream? What? You want to go back to the quicksand desert? But we were there yesterday. We didn't find anything. What? But we were at the quicksand desert. You experienced the same sensation that you had at Fogbound Lake? Well then, that's settled, amateur. You, what you say must be true. Let's go there again. Back to quicksand desert. Alright, but first, I gotta get some max elixirs. Out the booty. Probably some more reviver seeds, too. I did die a couple times. Oh, yeah, I wanna link some moves, actually. May as well. Uh, move that up. There. Perfect. Hmm. The stamina band suppresses hunger. Oh, okay. Well, we've got to buy another apple, actually. So, yeah, we'll do that. And then... Do the dad. Store. Get rid of the plane seat, I guess. <laughs> May as well. Okay. Then, yes. Da, 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 da. Take. We're gonna take our max elixirs. Oh, I thought I had more berries than this. Hmm. Alright, well, I guess I'll just take the cherry berry and then... Okay. Yeah. I think that's it. Thank you. Let's go. So we gotta go back to the desert, right? Or let me check the... Other... Cacleon. Bye. What you got? Escape orb, rainy orb. Uh, maybe a rainy orb. Just in case. For, for sandstorm and such. Yay. Okay, we're ready. Let's go, folks. Where would you like to go? Uh, Quicksand Desert. 
Not the northern desert, but the quicksand desert. Yay! Well, we're back. But it still seems like there's nothing here. Just this white sand stretching out in front of us. Big quicksand pits. Obviously. Is there something more here? What kinds of secrets are hidden here? It's very faint, but I can still feel it. This place. I know it somehow. But looking out over this, I had to admit Duo is right. There really is nothing here but the desert and the quicksand pits. And aside from those pits, there's nothing. Wait. Wait a second. If there's only quicksand, that's the key to this mystery. There's no way forward. Or is there? What do you think? Where should we look, amateur? What? What did you say? You want us to jump into the quicksand? Are you serious, amateur? Are you seriously suggesting that we should jump in? Okay. I trust you, amateur. I have faith in you, amateur. It's all thanks to you that I've come so far, amateur. During our first exploration... Okay. I gotta be brave now. If I get scared and fail to leap through that full speed, I'll be smushing no matter what I do. If I'm doing it, I have to do it without hesitating. Be brave. Be the bravest ever. I put my faith in you that time too, amateur. I was able to go I was able to go on then because you helped me be courageous, amateur. My feelings haven't changed since then. So let's go for it. Let's jump into that quicksand pit, amateur. Are you ready? One, two, three. Go. Ah! Alright. Yep. Everybody knows that. Ow, my backside. Where are we? Is this a cave? We fell through from up there. You were right, amateur. You were right. The secret swirled within the quicksand. Let's move it. It's time to go explore, an amateur. T let our time gear search begin. All right, then. The quicksand cave. Yep, pretty sure we're going to be encountering more um, ground types, of course. Fresh claw. Oh, and my defense fell. Ow. Okay. <laughs> you take him. <laughs> I don't want to hurt. Help. Good job. <laughs> yeah, he was kicking my butt. It was scary. See, this is why I wish I had uh, water moves. Rash? What the heck? Okay, no. <laughs> no. Uh. This way. Yay! Wagums leveled up. Oh, we're all level 20, I think. That's good. Oh, hello again. Hello, Sand Slash. It is I. Riolu. There's a scorpion behind you. <laughs> okay. Moving on. Quick sand cave. Money. What is that? It's dead. <laughs> Hey, Nikita wants to join your team. Nah. Go fast. I don't know. There's like particular Pokemon that I want. Honestly. Okay. Hope we got more grimy food. Hello, Sandslash. Nice to see you again. Okay, moving on. Find a lot of money in here. People are just dropping money in the quicksand. It's like a well. You gotta make a wish. 
stop with the rain dancing. Ow! I think that was a dark type move. Nice. Okay, and then I want to do this for duo as well. Check IQ. Yeah. God, stop at the rain dance. He's gonna keep doing it. <laughs> like, s stop. Uh. There's a lot of sand slash down here. here. Oh, it's just another room. Got it. Okay. Save and continue. Let's keep going. Let's keep going on, baby. Quicksand pit. Alright, now we're in a pit. And sand flash is right there, as always. Yay. Another level up, baby. 20. Yeah, we're all in the 20s. Cool. Money. Money's always nice. Oh, this seriously sounds like a Mario Desert level. Holy crap. Who's this? It must die. Terrorize. No, it was, oh, now it's paralyzed. And it, oh my goodness. We just bullied that Pokemon. Uh, should I take it? I guess. Just in case. In if it's something I don't need, then I can just sell it. Oh, here or oh, here comes the sandstorm. Yikes! That just showed up literally out of nowhere. Thank you. Oh my God, you can stop. Why is my enduring not working? Oh, Thunderfang, what the heck? Okay, your bites have electric powers. Ow. Oh, you can learn a new one. Okay. Body Slam. Info. Inflicts damage on the target. It may also afflict the targeted enemy with paralysis. Oh, okay. Hmm. Is that good for Waggles? Honestly, I want to keep you as, like, the, the magic man, so... Double Slap? Is Double Slap better? Actually, yeah, I'll, I'll replace Double Slap with, uh, Body Slam. Okay. Okay, moving on. Wait, who's, who's coming up on us? Oh, it's just a... Uh, just a rando. 
Cool. Oh my god. <laughs> Great. Oh, don't. Oh my god. Don't fall for the same thing, you fool. Oh, you're awake. Alright. We need a Pokemon with insomnia. The only one that I know that has insomnia is Hoot Hoot. It's like that owl Pokemon. But yeah, that would be great. Another orb. Spurn orb. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh my lord. He just destroyed him. Are you okay? Screech. Leave him alone. Oh my god. He just like tore him up with Fury Cutter. Hello. What the heck kind of Pokemon? <laughs> Skateboard. Roll call. Make enemies terrified. Spurn. Randomly warps enemies. Get out of here. Now we run. This is the perfect time to run. Run! Oh, I think they're still following us. I need... Alright, let's go. No! No! Oh my god, they got Duo! Nope. Dang it! I didn't create a restore point, unfortunately. I'm gonna lose my stuff. Alright, I'll take it. I'll take the loss. Ugh, that ended badly. Alright, we're awake. Kinda lost half our stuff, unfortunately. Ugh, it's really tough in here. But we don't have far to go. We can't give up. We have to keep trying. Alright, let's see what we lost. Uh, duh, duh, duh. Honestly, not a lot of stuff, actually. Uh, trash that. We don't need that. Whoopsie, we still got our stuff. Yeah, we, we didn't lose a lot of stuff, actually. We're fine. We don't have a lot of health items, though, unfortunately. Cobalt... Cherry. We've got sleep seeds. Yeah, we don't have a single uh, health item. But we can keep trying. The quicksand pit. I think I lost all my max elixirs too. That's also very unfortunate. Really? You're gonna change? Okay. <laughs> No, this is bad. Ah. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, moly. Alright, uh, faux fear orb. Get out of here. Jesus. And then... How does... What the... <laughs> okay. This may go bad now. Oh no, now we just lost even more items. And I can't store them for some reason, I don't know why. 
Okay, let's see what we lost now. <laughs> okay, I, lo I know I lost my orbs, unfortunately. Ugh. We still got an apple and a couple of things. We got an orange berry. One more time. One more time. This will be the last one. Sick of sand slash. Yay! Okay, I mean, we're definitely gonna need that more defense stuff. What in the name? Jesus! How are we already dying, man? This is our. It was going so well. Oh, Hapu. Crap! It would be in here, wouldn't it? Nope, nope. Oh, I don't have an escape orb. Um. Sleep seed. Honestly, there's nothing I can do here. <laughs> so. Only thing I can do is try to run. Sorry, you're just gonna have to take the damage, friend. <laughs> Sorry. It's, it's time to go. We gotta go. We gotta run. Run! <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just stay far away from them. But that's where we gotta go, actually. That's our exit. Really? Hi. Oh my god. This, this is horrifying. Uh. Here, you take him. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, God. This is going to be horrible. Oh, no. Well, I, this is the perfect time to end off this episode. Honestly. Oh, they're not even here no more. We can leave, can't we? I thought we can. Yeah, we can return to the guild. Yeah, so... I'm just going to go ahead and stock up and then see if I can find some any other stuff that I can handle. But other than that, I'm going to go ahead and end off this episode because I, I thought we weren't going to hit a bump, honestly. But this is the one little bumpy bump that we just have to encounter. So until then, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. Also, comment and subscribe to get new feed on videos and become a member of the Cuckoo Crew today. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter so you can recommend the future games you want me to play or chat your preference. Also, after you subscribe, be sure to tap that bell to get new notifications on videos so you'll never send upload from me ever again. But that's going to be it from uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explores the Sky in the next episode. Hopefully, we can get past the quicksand pit if we're lucky. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Just try to get past the quicksand pit. It's mostly the sand slash is what's trying to like, I feel like it's what's annoying me the most is sand slash. But other than that, I think everything's set in stone, but we'll see. So until then, guys, have a nice day. Have a nice night. Amateur is out. Stay safe. Stay sharp. And I love you all. Peace.